G'day guys. When I first started this channel, I was flying in flight simulator, uh, like FSX. And then before my three year hiatus, I was flying in prepared. But now most of my videos are in X-Plane. So why X-Plane? Why have I changed? I thought I'd make a little video to uh, explain why. Back in the day, I'd given up on FSX and moved to prepared version 3. I'd always thought that X-Plane was a great simulator, and at the time it was the only 64-bit simulator, but it was seriously lacking in airport scenery and general third-party developer support. Also, the UI sucked major balls. Uh, that is essentially why I went with prepared back in the day. FSX had run its course, and prepared seemed like the only sim on the market that would give me the experience that I desired from a flight sim. You know, that whole, as real as it gets thing. So, fast forward a couple of years, and Prepared has gone 64-bit, and X-Plane has fixed the airport scenery issues of previous versions. It's also gained third-party developer support, with people like Orbex, and its UI doesn't suck anywhere near as much. There are now two equally good sims on the market, and I was faced with upgrading to Prepared version 4, or going to X-Plane 11. I chose X-Plane 11 to be my main simulator. Why did I choose X-Plane? I was faced with the cost of upgrading to version 4 of Prepared and repurchasing some add-ons, or the cost of going to a brand new sim. Either way, there was cost involved. Not upgrading to a 64-bit sim just wasn't an option. So with having to outlay cash either way, it came down to which sim suited my needs better. The area in simulation that I'm most interested in is small GA piston-driven airplanes. Jets and airliners are fine and all, but low and slow VFR in a Cherokee is where my heart truly is at. As such, scenery, general flight dynamics, and accurate flight models are the most important things to me. Straight out of the box, X-Plane scenery takes a giant dump over vanilla prepared. There's just no other way to put it. It's a fact. It just is. Also, adding photorealistic textures and high definition terrain meshes can all be done really easily and completely for free. In short, X-Plane is visually stunning. It's a gorgeous sim. With great scenery developers like Orbex jumping aboard the X-Plane train, it has only gotten better. So, to my view, it easily beats prepared in this area. But more importantly, when it comes to modelling GA aircraft flight dynamics, X-Plane has always been the king. I mean, it's always been its strongest point, and it was its main selling point back in the day when it had no airports, no third-party developer, and a UI that sucked balls. In this area, like, X-Plane just can't be beaten. One thing that did keep me away from X-Plane, and still in the FSX prepared world, is A2A's brilliant study-level GA aircraft, like their 172 and Cherokee. X-Plane originally had nothing like that, uh, but these days it has some comparable products. Airfoil Labs Cessna uh, 172 and their King Air 350, Just Flight's Piper Arrows and the Hot Start TBM 900 are all superb. In addition to those, there are Simcoder's Reality Expansion Packs for Carinado and X-Plane default planes. These packs bring what is traditionally sim light planes up to near study level. There is now a decent amount of good quality GA aircraft available and there is more on the way. So basically, X-Plane offered more straight out of the box. It gave me more bang for its buck. All of the reasons that stopped me from going to the past were no longer valid, and it was a better environment for GA aircraft, which is where my passion is with flight simming. When you add that it now has major third-party developer support and around 50% of the flight sim enthusiast market, it was a no-brainer. Whilst I think that FSX is pretty much in its death throes, and for all intents and purposes, should be dead, I have nothing against prepared. I think it's a fine sim. It's just that X-Plane better suits my needs. Uh, I'll fly and prepared from time to time and make some videos in it, as I might have an aircraft that is not available in X-Plane that I really want to fly or do a video about, but most of my resources will be going into X-Plane. Uh, I personally think that X-Plane is the future of simming, and even if it isn't, it's my future in simming. And that's pretty much most of what I have to say on the matter. So thank you for listening. Please like, subscribe, or comment. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on X-Plane and Prepared slash FSX in the comments, but please keep it respectful. So, from Mount Fuji and my Beechcraft Duchess, John Ant.